Hello. Weather-wise, there's certainly a lot going on across Europe at the moment. An area of low pressure at the eastern end of the Med continuing to bring in some pretty potent thunderstorms accompanied by squally winds. Low pressure systems queuing up from the Atlantic to roll across the UK and affect western France on Wednesday, which clearer skies for Iberia, the south of France and Italy. Some sunshine here. Sunshine further east, but some rather cold air as we work our way towards the Balkans. A closer look then. Here we go in to Turkey, other parts of Greece, and Wednesday is looking very showery, very windy across the Aegean. Western half of the Med, a very pleasant story actually. Light winds, plenty of sunshine, temperatures around average for the time of year. Quite mild towards the northwest thanks to the air coming in from the Atlantic on Wednesday, but it will be wet and windy. Scandinavia though should see some sunshine. We'll continue with further areas of low pressure ploughing into the northwest of Europe right the way through the end of the week. It will feed increasing amounts of cloud into Central Europe for Thursday, further east, and the skies begin to clear across parts of Greece and Turkey. So here's your outlook. Showers for London and Paris, but becoming, uh, I think, quieter by the time we get to Monday. Sunshine for Madrid, slightly mixed picture in Rome. Still continuing with that colder weather further east, Mex uh, Moscow, I should say, seeing temperatures fall away further. Hello. Thanks to a very big area of high pressure, we're talking about a lot of settled weather across North America in the next couple of days. We lose the area of low pressure that brought the stormy and wintry conditions through the weekend. It's tail end though, still feeding some showers into Florida on Tuesday. You can see just how big the high is looking, however. But also towards the west, you can see a low offshore in the Pacific that will increasingly start to bring a risk of showers into San Francisco through the day on Tuesday and then push its way across much of California midweek with the risk of some heavy rain and those showers turning squally. Still plenty of sunshine on Tuesday though across western Canada, right the way across Vancouver Island. We get caught up in the cloud around the periphery however of that low as we make our way into California uh, on Tuesday. The showers mostly though confined to the coast at this stage. I think it looks like it'll be Wednesday when we start to see the rain uh, moving further on shore. For Los Angeles though and San Francisco, cooler and wetter prospects. Moving towards the northeast of the US, temperatures down certainly on the particularly mild weather we saw through the weekend. There are the showers across Florida on Tuesday, quite slow moving. They could still be hanging back a few of them on Wednesday as well, but Miami should become dry with pretty much unbroken sunshine by Thursday. Hello. Through the last few days, we've seen showers really focusing on the northern half of the South American continent. And you can see that pretty clearly by a look at our satellite picture. There's a little bit of frontal activity to the south of the continent, but those showers are really stretching all the way from Colombia and across northern Brazil. And very little is set to change in that pattern for Tuesday. And because the showers tend to stay in the same place and they will have some significant intensity, again, there's a risk of some flooding, particularly for parts of Colombia, Bolivia, and northern Brazil. Notice those green colours in the showers here behind me. That gives you some indication of where the most intense rain is likely to be. Further south, much clearer skies, sunshine really from Rio de Janeiro all the way down past Buenos Aires and in that sunshine, uh, temperatures responding quite nicely. In fact, I think perhaps getting a little bit above average in the next few days. The cloud increases for Buenos Aires, but so do the temperatures up to 28 by Sunday. Let's move up to Central America now, where the tail end of a weather front promises to bring some quite intense rain to the Vera Cruz region of Mexico on Tuesday, quite showery through the Gulf of Mexico. Sunshine, though, across the Yucatan Peninsula and for Belize. Still some isolated showers for Costa Rica, but a little drier than of late. Lots of sunshine for the Bahamas, Haiti, the Dominican Republic. I think Havana could just get the odd shower, though, on Wednesday. Kingston with plenty of sunshine, along with San Salvador, looking clearer for San Jose. Hello. We're set to see a dramatic change in the temperatures across eastern Asia in the next few days. We've had a weather front bringing some heavy rain into Japan and the Korean Peninsula, also some central reaches of China in the last 24 hours. That whole front will continue to slide further south for Wednesday and then behind it, 
much colder air. Cold enough actually that eventually it's going to start to generate some snow showers across the Sea of Japan and by the end of the week we could see some heavy snow for Hokkaido. Certainly though those temperatures continuing to plummet in the coming days. Sunnier skies as we make our way towards Vietnam and Thailand. Plenty of showers though for Malaysia, Singapore, Indonesia in the next few days. And here's your outlook. You can see that real dip off in temperatures there for Seoul, down to minus three in Beijing on Friday. And Japan really does take a plunge in the temperatures too. Off to Australia we go, where it's just a gradual decrease in the heat really for Queensland in the next few days as showers become increasingly widespread, tied in with the remnants of Owen. The heat though will spread further west eventually, reaching the north of Western Australia, also in to the southeast briefly. New Zealand remains very changeable in the near future, more areas of low pressure, more showers, more strong winds, particularly affecting the South Island. For Melbourne, there you go, you can see that spike in the temperatures in the next 48 hours or so, cooler though with a shower by Saturday. Hello. A quick look at our latest Indian satellite picture and you can see plenty of clouds have been gathering to the south of the Bay of Bengal, an easterly wave that's now pushing its way on shore, initially into Andhra Pradesh and Tamil Nadu and then eventually pushing into Kerala and Karnataka, bringing some heavy rain to areas in its path, maybe even with the risk of some localised flooding. Very choppy conditions offshore too and we'll also see the heavy, more intense rain affecting Sri Lanka again with the risk of flooding here further north and its lingering fog patches that we're talking about for Delhi on Wednesday. Heading further north, still clear skies, a cold picture, minus nine in Astana despite crisp sunshine on Wednesday and we'll see a high of around zero in Almaty. Tashkent still in double figures, 15 in a fine Kabul. Moving down along the coast of Western India, here you see where the showers are likely to sit on Wednesday, perhaps the odd one affecting the Maldives, certainly some intense rain on the cards for Sri Lanka. To the north of the Bay of Bengal, clearer skies once again as we look up towards Bangladesh. And here's your outlook for the coming days for Mumbai and Dakar, a fine story. Colombo, never with showers too far away and looking for the north. For Tashkent, temperatures actually creeping back up again by a few degrees by Saturday. Hello, taking a look at our latest African satellite imagery, the first cloud that probably pops out to you is this bright white area here across the equatorial belt. Worth picking out though this cloud further north across the eastern end of the Mediterranean, that's a low that will bring some rain in to northern Egypt in the next 24 hours and increasingly affect the uh, Middle East too. We've got some showers pulling away from the eastern cape of South Africa, however behind that then it's clear skies, sunshine and an opportunity for the temperatures to rise up to 34 for Cape Town on Wednesday. In terms of our outlook in the next few days, one or two showers possible in Nairobi. Could see one returning to Johannesburg by Sunday, but overall a lot of fine weather here for Dakar. Also some rain though for Cape Town Thursday, Friday as the front comes in. Khartoum, we'll see lots of sunshine. Quite warm across Morocco. Temperatures in Casablanca though, perhaps coming down through the course of the weekend. Now let's move towards the Middle East and here's that area of low pressure bringing rain and thicker cloud into the Levant on Wednesday. Quite squally southerly winds too, particularly affecting Saudi Arabia. Blowing dust and sand is likely to be an issue. And the showers I think could be quite slow moving and so locally they could result in some flooding, some particularly heavy ones affecting Iraq. The outlook for the coming days, so a lot of sunshine of course across the region, but I think Kuwait catching a few showers Wednesday, Thursday.